Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Freebeat and this is Sample Something. Welcome to season one, episode five of Sample Something. Uh, we have already reached our uh, first destination on uh, what day are we of our road trip now? Eight or nine, something like that. As you can see, we are standing just outside Seligman, Arizona, the birthplace of historic Route 66. Known as the Mother Road, it's one of America's great highways. It spans from Chicago to LA, as the song says. And as they say in the Pixar movie Cars, one didn't drive on it to make great time, one drove on it to have a great time. And I think I screwed that quote up, but that's okay. Now you'll notice the sign says birthplace of historic Route 66. Historic Route 66 uh, was established in 1987 and uh, I believe it's basically the preservation effort uh, or the effort to preserve uh, the great American highway known as Route 66, not the actual original road itself, which was bypassed by Interstate 40 uh, some time ago, which is actually just right behind us. Let's head into town. Right now I'm standing outside of Angel and Vilma's Route 66 gift shop, which up until, well, just a few months ago was the barbershop location of Angel Delgadillo, a man who basically saved Route 66 by himself. As we can see here, he actually started the historic Route 66 Association and was at the forefront of preserving this highway. And uh, well, he finally retired from barbering like I said, just a few months ago at the age of 95 years, as the sign says, young. He's affectionately known as the guardian angel of Route 66. Right around the corner on the side of the gift shop is this awesome depiction of Route 66 and how it winds through America. As you can see here, uh, we've got a couple of Pixar's Cars characters, and that's because Seligman was actually the inspiration for Radiator Springs in the Pixar movie, Cars. We gotta get a sample here, so I think I'm just gonna drag my finger along the road a little bit. That'll work just fine. All right, back at the sample trek here in the studio, and uh, we've got our first sample of the episode to play with. So immediately what I did is I jumped in and I trimmed out uh, all of the uh, really non-essential sound. So there was some space at the beginning, some space at the end, and this is what we wound up with. Now that's super cool, and in fact it already sounds kind of like a traditional percussion instrument. 
Pretty neat to think that's literally just my fingers scraping along the wall of Angel Delgadillo's uh, barbershop. Uh, <laughs> I was just editing that video, and I still can't believe we were there. Like, so cool. Um, so, let's go ahead and trim this even further. As you can tell, it kind of crescendos to a point. It goes shh. And I think I want to trim it to the point where it, it's a little faster and it actually flows with the music. And if you look here on the uh, waveform, there's a little, little peak right here, a little spike, I mean. And I think if we use that as a kind of reference point, it sounds pretty good, actually. As a little refresher from our previous episodes, our tempo is right about here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um, let's click OK and give it a shot and see how it sounds in here. All right, I think I'm happy with this. All right, the only way to tell if we actually nailed it is to go ahead and uh, sequence it. So let's go ahead and do that here. Set our length to 80. And I believe we're at uh, eighth notes, just trying to remember where everything else was. I went too far, didn't I? There we go, okay. So I'm just gonna live play them in here. All right, let's listen. All right, I'm gonna jam a bit uh, with our different tracks here and our uh, melody, and let's send it back to Seligman, Arizona. the truth. I can't believe we're finally here. Yeah. <laughs> like, we've been talking about visiting Route 66 since before we were dating. It was on each of our separate bucket lists. Yeah, so to finally be here together is just incredible. And this is just the start. We actually have two more stops. Uh, we're gonna be traveling the longest preserved section of the original Route 66. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's uh, depart wonderful Seligman and head to our second stop, which is Peach Springs.
Welcome to Peach Springs, Arizona. Founded in 1887, it was named after the peach trees that were found near the spring that powered the steam-powered vehicles. Pretty cool. Kind of cool that it was founded in 1887 because that's exactly 100 years before historic Route 66, the, the preservation effort, was established. So while there is a ton of history here in Peach Springs and I'm sure a bunch of cool sounds to explore, we are on a pretty short schedule, but I lucked out. And as we were walking to the grocery store so I could uh, answer the call of nature, uh, someone drove by on a motorcycle very slowly and I was able to whip out koala sampler and actually record it uh, just on the fly. So uh, here's the sample. I don't know why I'm holding it to the camera, it's this. We're definitely going to be able to do something with that. So uh, yeah, pretty exciting. Ready to hit the road? Yeah. All right, Kingman, Arizona, here we come. Let's go. You know, it's funny, uh, rolling into a lot of these places, I had at least a, a slight idea of what I wanted to sample. Um, like for instance, in Seligman, I knew I wanted to find some kind of percussive sound around uh, the barber shop or maybe one of the old cars, but I didn't want to like touch an old car or anything like that. So the idea to touch the painted road, scrape across it um, at the barber shop uh, w was really easy to come across. Um, I had no clue what I wanted to sample in Peach Springs, and I was walking from the bathroom at the grocery store. It wasn't even a grocery store. It was a little convenience store. I was just walking back to uh, Lady Freebeat, who was at this kind of park that we uh, parked our car at. Um, and, and this guy on a motorcycle just kind of pulled up uh, about 10 feet from me and was just kind of idling it before driving off. Uh, he was checking something on his phone. Um, it, it was just perfect. So what I did on the sample track is I actually went in and turned it into this. <laughs> And you might be wondering, how did I do that? Super easy, actually. What I did is I just went into the waveform and told the sample track to loop it and then played around until I found um, some sections that sounded good looped together. So as you can see, I've got a very tight loop right there. And it sounds quite nice. The neat thing with this sample that I've noticed though is if we change where the loop actually is uh, on the waveform, not the A and B points themselves, but the whole loop, if we shift it using the value knob, it actually changes the characteristics of the sound quite a bit. Even if we just change it within uh, our two points that we selected here. even keep going a bit. I then went into my envelope setting, gave myself a little bit of release, and I found out uh, that the root sample uh, was very close to an F sharp, um, so I set it to that, which means that we're roughly in key. However, uh, if I press play, you'll notice we're a little bit out of tune. Sounds like a car horn. <laughs> a little bit. Anyway, yeah, we're a little bit out of tune. Uh, now, at first I was kind of frustrated. I, I tried a few things to fine tune it, but I just really wasn't liking tonally where it was going. Then I realized that being a little bit out of tune might make this the perfect instrument, actually, to play a solo later in the song. So I think I'm going to sit on this sound and introduce it later in the song uh, and play a solo on it. But for now, let's just play the main melody in here and layer those, and then I'll go into the mixer and play around with uh, a few effects a bit. Uh, and then we will send it straight to Kingman, Arizona. I will say uh, something pretty special in between... Uh, 
Peach Springs and Kingman happened on this trip. And if you watch to the very, very end of the video, uh, you will get to see, uh, you will get to see what happened. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Here we go. Let's give this a shot. Here we are, finally, in Kingman, Arizona. Now, we don't have a ton of time. Like I've said a few times, we're on a bit of a crunch, a bit of a schedule, but we do have time enough to check out the Powerhouse Visitor Center, which uh, houses the Route 66 History Museum, as well as the Electric Car Museum, which uh, I think we're pretty excited to check out. I don't think we're gonna do too much uh, speaking recording in there, uh, but there still should be plenty for us to appreciate, and uh, who knows, maybe a sample or two. Let's head inside. It's a sound engineering improvement as well. Now these low, low lines and those airliner contours make possible new achievements in weight balance as well as the elimination of any excess bulky structural weight and the cutting down of air resistance. Yes, Peter Baker would like to have you come in to any of the theaters in Los Angeles County tomorrow or this weekend without the slightest obligation on your part and try the 52 to make and bring your family, they'll love it too. Or phone your Studebaker dealer, and he'll be glad to bring a new Studebaker right off to you. And oh yes, by the way, with Studebaker's new low prices now in effect, thanks to huge volume demand, you'll find that the down payments have been lowered as well. Why, on some models, you can buy a new 1950 Studebaker for as little as $361 down. And try the miracle ride for 1950. See you tomorrow or September 22nd, 1973. At 2.30 in the afternoon, traffic stopped. When I thought the superhighway was constructed, we were bypassed. We, the people, lost our way of life. So I got the idea to preserve it. We had to ask the state to declare Route 66 in the story highway. We are the people of yesterday. We grew up during the Depression. We did not know what the word no meant. And in so doing, we have told the world, if you want it done, quit your work, quit your crime, go do it. So at this point in the museum, we were already pretty blown away. Um, but we hadn't even gotten to the electric car museum yet. In fact, we'd completely forgotten about it. 
Uh, and that was downstairs. We were upstairs in all the clips you saw. The, the whole museum tour started upstairs, and then the electric car museum was downstairs. Uh, so we thought we were just getting to the end of everything, and then we got downstairs, and, uh, well, you'll see here in just a few minutes, uh, the Electric Car Museum was so cool. And I'll include some more footage uh, in the very final episode of this season uh, in a couple weeks uh, when we unveil the final track, too. But yeah, the Electric Car Museum was amazing. Um, also, as you saw, though, we were able to get a sample of the creaky floor. And that sounded like this after I normalized it. Kind of a, a funky sound. Uh, we may be able to turn that into a synth, but I feel more inclined to add it to our collection of percussive sounds. So I've actually trimmed it up and ran it through a high pass filter here and turned it into something that sounds like this. Again, just adding to that collection of percussion instruments that we've assembled on this trip. There's so many cool sounds in here. And when we get to the next episode, uh, we'll be exploring those a lot more in depth and working with them together uh, to create some new drum parts. But after I heard this, I knew it was in the right place. I feel like that is what that sample wants to become. It is slightly similar to the first sound we got today. But it's also different enough, especially with that uh, filter on it, uh, that I think it warrants uh, being included in the kit with everything else. And I actually just had an idea for this sample. So if we listen here... That uh, scrape on the barbershop wall uh, kind of crescendos into the, I think it was not a hand clap, but that, that snare drum type sound on two and four. What if we reverse this sample here and put it after that? So we have the barbershop wall crescendoing up into it. And then this is like a decrescendo out of it. Uh, that could be really, really cool. So I just reversed it and here's what we've got now. Not as cool as I thought it would be, but let's, uh, send it to some reverb and hear how it sounds in context. Okay, so it's definitely not a decrescendo, but I kind of like it right there on the next eighth note after. So I'm gonna turn on sequencing, go into the clip, 80 and eighth note, uh, let's play this in live. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm pretty happy with uh, it landing right there for now at least. I like how it sounds. I like that it kind of is almost a, a very quick, almost instant reprise of the barbershop sound, but just a little bit different, just different enough uh, that it still, you know, makes your ears perk up because it, it is technically a new sound. Uh, so I do like that. All right, really quick now before I send us back to Arizona and to check out the Electric Car Museum, I'm going to turn off sequencing on those two sounds. And I'm going to play with them and jam around a bit. I'm going to save right now first. <laughs> there we go. And uh, play around, jam around a bit while you all enjoy some footage of the Electric Car Museum. Uh, and then we will wrap up the episode. Remember, stick around to the end if you would like to see the surprise.
Well, that unfortunately concludes our brief time here in Kingman. I think we're coming back, hopefully soon. Yeah, yeah. I want to stay here. Yeah, that visitor center was amazing. Hopefully the footage I got and the voiceovers I do later uh, do it justice because it was awesome. And there is so much more to do in Kingman and I think in Seligman too. Now I think we're going to get back on the interstate uh, and we are, I think, going to wrap up season one of Sample Something. That's pretty crazy. That's it. Let's go. Well, if it does seem crazy that we'd wrap season one right there, uh, you'd be right. And that's because we are not wrapping season one of Sample Something right here. I don't know what I was thinking when I said that, because we still have two episodes left. So in the next episode, we are going to do some more work in the sample track. Our song is going to actually take shape. I'm going to come up with a distinct chorus, verse, and bridge, and whatever other sections. And uh, then in the final episode, I will have exported the track into Ableton, and I'll probably show a little bit of that. Uh, and I will finish it up and debut the song in the final episode. And that is when we will wrap up season one of Sample Something. And what's funny is I actually already knew that that's how I was going to do it when we were on the trip, because I filmed like a proper outro to the season. Uh, I don't know why I said what I just did back there in Kingman, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Sample Something. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. If you want to get your hands on any of these samples, you can head over to patreon.com slash freebeat. There's a bunch of other rewards there as well that you get for uh, signing up. Starting at as little as just $1 a month actually gets you access to our Discord server as well as access to the freebeat sample something community challenge which will be starting as soon as this season wraps up going to be a ton of fun if you've made it this far into the video thank you so very much like i mentioned earlier i do have a little bit of a surprise to show you so uh thank you so very much for being here thanks for watching we'll see you next time on sample something here's the clip